BlackRock recommends a Bitcoin heavy portfolio. Conflux releases a monthly progress report. Dynex responds to Daniel Keller of Flux with an update. 1Z Miner releases new miner, as does BZ Miner, and Ergo Protocol gets an update. Welcome to yet another episode of Blocks, your one stop shop for all cryptocurrency news as quickly as possible. I go by Blind Run on the internet and Matthew in real life. Let's get into it. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, recently made waves in the cryptocurrency world by recommending an optimal portfolio allocation of 84.9% Bitcoin. This means that if investors follow BlackRock's recommendation, Bitcoin could be worth more than five times the total value of all equities, real estate, and bonds. Now, you might be wondering why BlackRock is making such a bold recommendation. Despite Bitcoin's volatility, BlackRock sees its positive skewedness as a reason for large allocations, which means that Bitcoin has a greater chance of seeing significant positive returns. It seems that BlackRock is going all in on Bitcoin as they have also filed a spot ETF application. This further solidifies their confidence in the cryptocurrency. Economic analysts have looked into previous BlackRock reports and have found that these reports heavily lean towards Bitcoin as a high reward asset. According to Blockware's Joe Burnett, if all investors follow BlackRock's optimal BTC allocation, Bitcoin could be valued at more than five times the total value of all equities, real estate, and bonds. This would be a massive leap in Bitcoin's value and a significant milestone for the cryptocurrency market. Economist Alessandro Ottaviani shared the sentiment that Bitcoin is a must-have in every portfolio and it will become apparent to everyone sooner or later. BlackRock's recommendation is based on the fact that although Bitcoin is highly volatile, its positive skewness justifies a large allocation in all portfolios. It is worth noting that the BlackRock report being referred to was written last year but has gained significant attention on crypto Twitter recently. In addition to their bold Bitcoin strategy, BlackRock has also filed for a Bitcoin spot ETF. While the Securities and Exchange Commission has yet to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF, industry experts believe that BlackRock has a good chance of being the first to receive approval. Other players in the Bitcoin ETF race include ARK21 Shares, Bitwise, Vanek, Wisdom Tree, Invesco, Fidelity, and Valkyrie. Analysts speculate that the SEC's handling of Bitcoin ETFs is a way for them to exert control over the cryptocurrency ecosystem through Wall Street giants like BlackRock. Let's take a look at the technical developments that took place during July 2023 on the Conflux network. The team implemented CIP 118 and 119, paving the way for an upcoming hard fork. They also released the testnet node version 2.3.0-3 testnet to test the hard fork, ensuring smooth and secure updates. Additionally, several performance-related issues were addressed, further enhancing the network's efficiency. The Conflux SDK received a boost with newly added RPC methods, making it even more versatile and developer-friendly. The Conflux contracts introduced a new method, get available points, and comprehensive documentation as prepared for hard fork 2.3.0 ensuring everyone's well prepared for upcoming changes. Various optimizations were made to scan, making historical conflux balance queries more efficient via full state RPC. The team also allowed the addition of name tags for EOA addresses, enhancing user experience. The open API was improved to suppress NFT meta errors or metadata errors, streamlining the handling of non-fungible tokens. Confura and Congraph, vital components of Conflux Network, also underwent similar optimizations and enhancements, further strengthening the entire system. On the map cross-chain front, the team optimized the gas cost of the light node contract via assembly, while also becoming compatible with the map protocol interface. Additionally, they introduced support to verify the aggregated signature, improving cross-chain optimization. Operations. Lastly, Fluent, a critical part of Complex's wallet infrastructure, released new documentation at docs.fluentwallet.com, making it easier for users to navigate and interact with the wallet. Beyond technical advancements, Conflux Network made significant strides through strategic partnerships in July of 2023. 
A partnership with World Mobile aimed to boost blockchain mobile access and transcend connectivity barriers in Asia and Africa, bringing blockchain to regions in need. The collaboration with Zokio aimed to advance Web3 and enhance security for users and developers, fostering a safer digital environment. OpenBuild and Conflux Network teamed up to share the future of learning and development for builders, promoting knowledge and skill sharing. BR Group's partnership with Conflux aimed to unlock new Web3 opportunities, expanding possibilities for users and developers alike. Conflux's alliance with Dipius aimed to revolutionize the metaverse experience, creating an exclusive Conflux area in the world of Dipians. Sounds like diapers merging blockchain with virtual worlds. And that wraps up our monthly progress report for Conflux Network in July of 2023. As a cryptocurrency miner, I'm truly impressed with the consistent technical advancements, strategic partnerships, and real-world impact that Conflux Network has achieved. It's evident that they are driving the blockchain space forward and making a lasting impact on various industries, especially as it pertains to the Chinese market. In a recent Twitter post, Daniel Keller made the statement that, quote, if you can't see the jobs that have processed on your, quote, proof of useful work, end quote, network, it's not going to work. And an ellipses, hashtag facts, end quote. Presumably aimed at the Dynex coin. It's quite interesting. Personally, I do not know what the standards for proof of useful work are, as Dynex is the first to launch publicly and Flux is still a little ways out. That being said, Dynex has responded and provided a dashboard in partnership with DeepMiner's pool to supply just that. If you head over to the jobs tab at DeepMiner's mining pool for Dynex, you can see the jobs and their description that the pool is working on. Seeing this ultimately implemented on all pools should be really neat. I appreciate that every time a concern is brought up to Dynex developers and pool partners, they work on resolving that issue. The team at 1Z Miner has been hard at work and they have managed to boost the hash rate, especially for the 20 and 30 series GPUs from NVIDIA. This means that if you're using one of these GPUs, you can expect to see a better mining performance with the latest version of 1.0 Miner. Another notable addition to the 1.2.1 update is a more robust file downloader. This improvement ensures smoother and more reliable downloads, which is essential for a seamless mining experience. And to top it off, they've even added a progress bar so you can easily track the download status. Managing your mining jobs is now a breeze with the new version. 1.0 Miner 1.2.1 allows you to remove corrupted or unneeded job files hassle-free. This feature streamlines your mining setup, saving you time and effort while maximizing your mining potential. That wraps up the highlights for the latest 1.0 Miner 1.2.1 update. The team has clearly been working hard to improve performance and user experience, making this mining software an excellent choice for those with the 20 and 30 series GPUs. BZ Miner has just released version 15.1. 4.3 and it comes with some fantastic improvements. First up, BZ Miner version 15.4.3 introduces support for a new coin called Game Pass. Along with that, the team has worked on improving the hash rates for Ravencoin, XNA, Clor, Meowcoin, and Neoxa on both Nvidia and AMD GPUs. These enhancements mean even better performance and more efficient mining for these specific cryptocurrencies. The team has also revamped the throttle control option, allowing for more precise per GPU algorithm control. Now the throttle can be utilized similarly to overclock options, providing miners with greater flexibility and control over their mining setup. BZ Miner version 15.4.3 now introduces three new command line options, throttle one, throttle two, and throttle three. These options further enhance your control over throttling settings, making it easier to customize and optimize your pro mining performance. The team has been hard at work squashing bugs. In this update, they've fixed the out of memory issues for Raven, XNA, Chlor, Meowcoin, Neoxa, and Ergo, ensuring a smoother and more stable mining experience. Additionally, they've addressed pool carryover stats on reconnects and resolved the crash issue specific to Kapow Profit switching pools. 
And there you have it. The BZ Miner version 15.4.3 update brings new coin support, significant hash rate improvements, enhanced throttle control, and various bug fixes to ensure top-notch mining performance. If you're a crypto miner, this update could be just what you need to boost your mining game. Today, we have some exciting news for all of the Ergo Protocol users out there. The latest version, 5.0.13, has just been released, packed with some noteworthy updates. One of the major highlights of this release is the addition of non-interactive proofs of proof of work based chain bootstrapping. Thanks to PR's 1937, 2017, and 2018, users now have the option to utilize this for faster and more efficient chain bootstrapping. The process can be configured through the ergo.node.nipopow section in the settings. Users can choose between two bootstrapping options. The first one is the non-interactive proofs of proof of work based bootstrapping, which allows you to download the proof of proof of work proofs on Node Bootstrap boosting the speed of process. The second option is UTXO set snapshot based bootstrapping, which provides an alternative approach to chain bootstrapping. A fascinating feature in this release is the ability to combine non-interactive proofs of proof of work based and UTXO set snapshot based bootstrapping by setting the parameters as follows. You can basically do the ergo.node.nipopow.com NIPOPOW bootstrap equals true. And you can also do that with the UTXO equivalent. Users can enjoy the advantages of both methods simultaneously as well. PR2009 brings a significant fix to the blockchain API paging. This update addresses an issue related to address segment paging, ensuring that duplicate segments are no longer returned. This improvement enhances the overall user experience and smoothens the data retrieval process. To wrap it up, Ergo Protocol Reference Client 5.0.13 introduces exciting NIPOPOW based chain bootstrapping options along with enhanced UTXO set snapshot based bootstrapping. Users now have more control and flexibility in configuring their nodes bootstrap process. Thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below so you're notified when we release another episode of Blocks. Don't worry, more talking head videos are coming your way. If you want to keep up to my daily moves, please check out sonofatech.local com and you can become a supporter over there which helps me to continue to run this channel as unbiasedly as possible in addition to that a month free of locals is included with my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com where you can learn about my overall moves and plans within the bitcoin mining space and cryptocurrency mining space thanks for watching i will see you next tuesday